What's up, Steelers Nation? We know how much pride this team takes in improving week after week, aiming to give us that thrilling football we all love. Today, we're diving into one of the hottest debates among fans and analysts alike. Is Minka Fitzpatrick living up to the all-pro standard we expect? Stick with me as we uncover the details, and if you're here for the black and gold breakdown, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's jump in. Minka Fitzpatrick, a name synonymous with highlight reel interceptions and game-changing moments, is facing scrutiny this season. Through 11 games in 2024, Fitzpatrick hasn't recorded a single interception, a stat that's raised eyebrows considering his hefty $18.4 million annual salary. Compare that to 2022, when Fitzpatrick tied for the league lead with six interceptions. Fans, analysts, and even some radio hosts are beginning to ask, what's changed? Is Fitzpatrick's performance slipping, or is there more to the story? Joe Starkey from 93.7 The Fan didn't hold back, calling Minko a season of flat-out disappointment. His argument, Fitzpatrick isn't being ignored by offenses as some claim, but he's not making the splash plays we've come to expect. Let's talk stats. According to Pro Football Focus, Fitzpatrick has allowed 18 catches on 24 targets for an average of 13.8 yards per reception and a whopping 135.4 passer rating when targeted. Tight ends, in particular, have been a thorn in his side. Just look at David Njoku's performance during the Steelers' Week 12 loss to the Cleveland Browns. At the same time, Fitzpatrick remains a key piece of the defense, contributing 61 tackles, a forced fumble, and two passes defended. Steelers defensive coordinator Terrell Austin isn't worried, maintaining that Fitzpatrick's splash plays will come in time. I know what kind of player Minka is, Austin said. The turnovers will come. Right now, he's helping this defense in other critical ways, and that's just as valuable. One major point of contention is how the Steelers are deploying Fitzpatrick this season. Unlike previous years, where he roamed the field in various roles, 2024 has seen him stick mostly to the deep center field. This strategy has its pros and cons. By keeping Fitzpatrick in his natural free safety role, the Steelers limit big plays from opposing offenses, but it also reduces Minko's opportunities to make the splash plays fans crave. Radio host Joe Starkey doesn't buy the idea that teams are simply avoiding Fitzpatrick. This isn't Darrell Revis in his prime, Starkey argued. Opposing quarterbacks aren't steering clear of him for an entire game. However, others, including Austin, believe Fitzpatrick's presence alone alters how offenses game plan against Pittsburgh. This debate about Fitzpatrick comes during a critical juncture for the Steelers. After a promising start to the season, including a stretch where the team looked unbeatable, the Steelers are suddenly facing mounting pressure. The Week 12 loss to the Cleveland Browns was a reality check. It wasn't just a disappointing performance. It reignited doubts about the Steelers' ability to maintain their lead in the highly competitive AFC North. Now, the Ravens are breathing down Pittsburgh's neck, just a half game behind. With tough matchups ahead, including a divisional clash against the Bengals, the Steelers have no room for error. Despite the challenges, this team has reasons for optimism. Russell Wilson has reinvigorated the offense, bringing leadership and confidence that's infectious. But for the Steelers to make a deep playoff run, the defense, especially Fitzpatrick, will need to step up. Minkoa's playmaking ability has always been a game-changer, and the Steelers could use a timely interception or forced fumble to swing momentum in their favor during the critical weeks ahead. Mike Tomlin has been here before. His ability to rally the team and make adjustments will be key. If Tomlin and Wilson can keep the squad focused, there's no reason the Steelers can't reclaim their dominant form. The Steelers are 8-3 and leading the division, but recent struggles have fans questioning if the team's current formula is sustainable. Russell Wilson was brought back as the starter six weeks ago, and for a while, it seemed like the right call. The offense looked rejuvenated, scoring 31.5 points per game in his first two starts, compared to 20.7 with Justin Fields. Wilson's deep ball prowess gave the Steelers an explosive edge early on, but the honeymoon phase didn't last. Over the past three games, the offense has regressed, averaging 21.6 points and struggling to capitalize in the red zone. Meanwhile, the offensive line has allowed Wilson to be sacked 11 times in that span, amplifying concerns about his durability and decision-making under pressure. Fields, on the other hand, has shown flashes of brilliance when given the chance. His mobility and efficiency in the red zone have added a unique dimension to the offense, but his role has been limited to situational packages. 
Could a more strategic rotation between the two quarterbacks unlock the offense's full potential? Wilson's play has been a roller coaster. His ability to create big plays, 39 completions of 20 plus yards, has been a highlight. However, his inconsistency in the red zone is troubling. He's converted only 40% of red zone opportunities into touchdowns, compared to 50% for fields. In last week's loss to the Browns, Wilson completed 21 of 28 passes for 270 yards, but was pressured on 45% of his dropbacks and sacked four times. While he managed to stay efficient under duress, the offense remained stuck in a frustrating pattern of big plays followed by stalled drives. Coach Mike Tomlin acknowledged the struggles, saying, It took us too long to warm up to the action. They brought it, and they brought it instantly early on. Fields, while not as prolific as Wilson in moving the ball downfield, has been more effective in the red zone. His athleticism and ability to extend plays have resulted in eight red zone touchdowns this season, three passing and five rushing. The Steelers introduced a Fields package in recent games, deploying him in key moments. Against the Browns, Fields played eight snaps, including a red zone play that led to a three-yard touchdown run by Jalen Warren. However, his limited usage raises questions about rhythm and timing. After the game, Fields admitted the rotating role has been a challenge. I think it does affect timing, but at the end of the day, that's my job. Anytime I get a chance to help my team, I'm happy to do it. The Steelers face a dilemma. Wilson's arm strength and veteran experience make him a valuable asset, but his struggles with consistency and the offensive line's pass protection issues have limited his effectiveness. Fields offers a dynamic change of pace, particularly in the red zone, where his mobility forces defenses to adjust. Yet, the team has been hesitant to use him beyond situational plays, leaving fans to wonder if a more balanced approach could be the key. We've been too boom or bust. In games like this, we need to be more efficient. We have to play clean football for all four quarters. The Steelers have four divisional matchups and a showdown with the Kansas City Chiefs on Christmas. To maintain their lead in the AFC North and secure a playoff spot, the team must find a solution at quarterback. Tomlin and the coaching staff have a decision to make. Stick with Wilson as the primary starter, expand Field's role, or craft a hybrid approach that maximizes the strengths of both. The clock is ticking, and every game matters. All right, Steelers fans, now it's your turn. Do you think Minka Fitzpatrick is being used the right way this season? Should the team adjust his role to create more splash plays, or is the deep safety position exactly where he belongs? And what about the team as a whole? Can the Steelers fend off the Ravens and Bengals to hold on to the AFC North lead? Drop your thoughts in the comments, smash that like button if you're loving the content, and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the action. As always, thanks for tuning in, and go Steelers! Steelers Nation, the road ahead is tough, but this team has proven time and again that they thrive under pressure. Let's see how the next chapter unfolds.